Hi, I'm Dr. Dave. Welcome to my basement and welcome to the amazing world of high-speed video. On this DVD you'll see all sorts of things in super slow motion. You'll see basic billiard shots, advanced billiard shots, extremely stupid human tricks, extremely smart animal tricks, the physics of toys in action, fun experiments with food products, balloons popping and bouncing, stuff breaking and exploding, and much, much more. This is called a rail cut shot. The object ball is frozen to the rail. We wish to pocket it in this corner pocket. One technique that helps make the shot easier is to use left English. We're going to hit the left side of the cue ball. And we're going to hit the rail about a quarter of an inch away from the object ball. When the cue ball hits the rail, it will compress it slightly, and the spin will throw the cue ball towards the object ball. So the left spin will throw it right towards the object ball and hopefully send it right down the rail. In this case, the English is called running English because when it hits the rail, it tends to run down the rail. So you can see the object ball went straight up the rail. The cue ball headed pretty much directly across the table and back. Sometimes we want to change the direction the cue ball heads after making the ball to get good position on the next shot. So let's look at some high speed video that shows different possibilities for doing that. Let's take another quick look at all the cue ball paths possible. <laughs> Okay, it's time for a quiz. What you're looking at is a shaken pop can shot with a pellet gun. Which way is the pellet going? From right to left or from left to right? Watch it a few times and think about your answer. Left to right or right to left? People who know about gun ballistics usually guess right to left because a bullet hit usually creates a small entry wound and a large exit wound. Is that the right answer here? The correct answer is actually left to right. When the pellet punctures the left side of the can, the pressurized liquid inside ruptures the aluminum and much of the pop shoots out. By the time the pellet reaches the right surface, most of the pressure is gone and the pellet just makes a small puncture hole in the aluminum. Did you get the right answer? If so, gold star. Okay, Joe, you promise your aim is good and you can hit me in the center of the target where it won't hurt so much, right? No problem, Tom. Okay, Joe, fire away. Okay, Tom, here it comes. Ow! Ow! Ow!